to explore the spiritual food that he's giving us. He is inviting us, as one prophet says, to eat the book, to drink deeply from the fellowship of Christ, which is found in community. Jesus is offering us living water, and it's found at the community well. That's the thing about the church. That's sort of not part of who we are in America right now. Maybe in all of the world. I only know where I am. That the idea of being in community is really hard for people who live drive through lives, myself included, as I just told you yesterday. It's really hard, but I think that's what Lent is about. I don't think Lent is intended to be just about giving something up. I think Lent is about giving some time up. Of giving some time over to God. Not because we're going to be like sent into the corner to be punished, sit there for a while. But it's time to come to the table to receive the gifts of the land. Many people refuse to do, do so. We just call Jimmy John's a whole business built around our insistence on living drive through lives. I'm a customer. But if we really want to start some new experience of living with God, enjoying his blessings, then we actually should go out into the land and gather in the gifts. Don't just wait for the manna to come from heaven. The scripture tells us, then the manna stopped. And God said, there it is. Now go get it. Cultivate the land. Harvest the crop. Make the dinner. And invite your friends to celebrate it with you. The invitation goes out to everyone. But as Jesus teaches, many will refuse to attend. They have higher priorities, other priorities. I think that's what we need to take away from this story of Joshua and the Israelites as they gathered at the beginning of their journey into the promised land. God said, Here's the priority. Stop. Sit down. Share a meal. The celebration that Joshua was commanded to hold took place at Gilgal. It's a word that means rolled away. And the very first verse in our scripture reading today says, I have taken away your reproach from Egypt. Hard phrase to understand. Here's what it means. You see, God had taken the people of Israel out of Egypt. And all the Egyptians were laughing at them. They were held in reproach because they left this land where they had everything they could want, and now they're out in the desert, wandering around for 40 years, there must have been a lot of jokes in Egypt. Did you hear the one about the Israelite? They were held in reproach. But God is outside of time. And when the people had confessed their sin, God forgave them and opened up the gates to the promised land. God has rolled away the reproach of the world. The world today holds the church in reproach. The world today scorns the work we try to do together. The easy thing would be to say, I give up. Not going to work. Nothing's going to matter. But then one day, 
God is going to open up the gates. If we as a community confess that on our own we cannot serve the Lord as we are called to do, but if we will allow the Lord to bring us into the promised land, if we will allow the Lord's message that we should go out and have supper with people that God brings into our lives, then we will see the promise restored. Then we will see the reproach rolled away. And of course, God didn't stop rolling things away at Gilgal. There's a story about a tomb and a stone and a garden. Mighty big, rolling away. But that's a story for three weeks from today. That's a story that we begin to celebrate on the Thursday before Easter, especially. As we gather around the table, as we come together on Good Friday, to remember our Christ on his cross. As we gather on Saturday in the chapel to pray for our Lord laid low in the grave. And then as we gather around our Easter brunch, as we gather around the table to celebrate that the rolling away has not stopped. God is ready to roll away something in your life. God is willing and ready to roll away the reproach of Egypt for you. But you need to come to the table. What can I get you? Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, you've provided us with these blessings, these gifts of the bread and of the cup, these abundant blessings that are ours to take if we will just slow down from a drive through life and come to the table. Lord, roll away the burdens in our life. In Jesus' name, amen.